All right, let's talk about how bones uh, grow, how you grow. We talked about the purpose of bones is to give you shape and protection and store minerals. As you grow, because uh, obviously you're taller now than you were when you were a baby, uh, unless you're still a baby, in which case you don't know what I'm saying, so it doesn't matter. Uh, if you're a kid, you're watching uh, the video and you're, you know, about yay tall. And you got that big, not really all at once, but you started from a baby and then you get even taller as a full-size adult. Your bones have to grow. Your skin grows over it and stretches, your muscles stretch and get stronger, but your bones grow. And I'll give you a simple explanation of how that works. Remember we talked about your bones also store minerals, right? So there's the end, two ends of a long bone. Now there are four shapes to bones. You have long bones, short bones, flat bones, and irregular shaped bones, right? And then the, uh, the short bones are sometimes cube shaped. So like the little ones in your wrist, your carpals, those are short bones. The long bones in your arm and your forearm and your thigh, those are long bones. The bones like your, uh, your ribs and the bones in your head, your skull, they're, they're flat. Flat bones actually have a hard part and a hard part and a soft part in between, like a, almost like a cookie, like an Oreo. And then irregular shaped bones would be like those vertebra because they're very weird shaped, right? They have like a, a body and then they got this little part that sticks off and another part that sticks off and one up here, and right? They got all these weird shapes. So your long bones are mostly in your limbs long and short bones, your irregular and flat shaped bones are mainly in your axial skeleton. Um, not entirely, but it's good enough for now. The long bones are, are the ones that grow the most to give you height. So as you get taller and longer and, and grow to an adult height, it's mostly long bones. And here's how it kind of works. They've actually got three parts. A red marker would have been awesome, but what are you gonna do? So, this is a long bone, right? And it's got a couple of uh, couple of different parts. You can see the knobby ends and then the shaft in the middle. The shaft of the bone is called the diaphysis, right? The shaft of the bone is called the diaphysis. The ends of the bone, these green ends I drew, are called an epiphysis. An epiphysis, epiphysis. Now, in the long bones, between the diaphysis and the epiphysis, so the shaft and the ends of the bone, there's another area that's across here that when you're a baby is a little wider, right? And it looks like just a, like a, a little thin piece between the hard part of the diaphysis and the hard parts of the epiphyses. And those are sometimes referred to as growth plates. The proper term for that is a metaphysis, um, also called a growth plate, right? So what happens is as you eat food and you get some proteins and some fats and you get some minerals, your body stores them in the long bones and it, it sends it down through the blood to the metaphysis. And then the metaphysis turns all that mineral and such into bone. So then as the metaphysis gets more minerals and fats and proteins, it grows more diaphysis. So the shaft, the bone gets longer and it pushes the ends apart, the two epiphyses, it pushes them apart. Now the epiphysis of one bone will attach to the epiphysis on another bone, for instance, like an elbow joint, and where these two bones, this one's got a weird shape and this one's got a rounded shape, where they point, where they stick together is called a joint. Or that word we talked about earlier is articulation. Right? Articulation. And then there's some wrapping of connective tissue around that, like tendons and ligaments, and what's called a joint capsule that holds it together. Right? And then my elbow, my bones stick together, right? Sometimes, especially when you're younger, anywhere from ages seven to about 12, sometimes you get an ache 
uh, in your arm or an ache in your leg, especially at night, they ache. That's a, called growing pains. That's the feeling of your metaphysis making longer bone. So sometimes they're called growing pains, but growing ache is better. It doesn't really cause a pain. It's usually just annoying, like your leg kind of throbs a little bit. But it just, when that happens, now you know you're just getting a little taller when that happens. So that's kind of how bones grow. Now, uh, believe it or not, those little bones in your finger, those are long bones. Even though they're very, very short in measurement, their shape is long bone. Long bones have a diaphysis, two epiphyses or epiphyseal endings, and then the metaphysis where the growth plate is. Right. So that's how bones grow, and we'll, we'll talk about articulations a little bit more detail um, in a bit. Um, this, a, a, an articulation is where two bones meet and move. So an articulation is where bones meet and move. So how do they move? Let's talk about that next. So I'll erase this. I gotta, I gotta find a volunteer and then I'll be right back with some movement. <laughs> 